How's it going everyone? My name is Jermaine Grant. Today I'm going to show you how to do this easy, simple text reveal inside Premiere Pro. Let's get into the video. So as you can see, I've got a clip in my timeline. I'm going to create a text by clicking T on my keyboard and creating a box in my program monitor. I'm going to call this text reveal. I'm going to move the text so that's in the middle. Just going to close the blue border just so it fits just around the text. And I'm going to move it in the middle. That should be fine. Just going to extend the text layer to the beginning of the clip. Now with the text layer highlighted, I'm going to come into my effects panel and type in crop. I'm going to drag this crop effect into the effects control panel. Bear in mind, make sure the crop effect is resting above the text effect in the effects control panel. If not, this whole effect will not work. As you can see under crop effect, it has left, top, right and bottom. I'm going to start off with cropping it to the left. So as I move this slider to the right, you can see, you can see that the text is disappearing from the left. So what I'm going to do is we still want to see the text at the moment. I'm going to just make sure that the cropped effect is at the edge of the T. I'm going to do the same for top, right and bottom. So we still want to see it, just want to see it's at the edge. Yep, that's fine. You don't have to be too precise. And lastly for bottom. Yep, that's fine. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to the beginning of my clip and I'm going to press up on this drop down menu. I'm going to click the drop down menu under text and I'm going to scroll down to position, which we'll find under transform. I'm going to set two keyframes under position. First, I'm going to go along about 15 frames in my timeline and then press the stopwatch icon to set my first keyframe. Then I'm going to go back to the beginning of my clip and set another keyframe by sliding this number so that the text doesn't become visible as it moves to the left. So if I press spacebar, the text comes in from the left, but I'm not finished there. What I'm going to do, I'm going to zoom in on my keyframes. I'm going to select both of them, right click and select Bezier. I'm going to select this drop down menu here. See, we have two handles on the right handle. I'm going to drag this to the bottom and I'm going to drag it to the left so that we have like an L shaped curve because I want the text to slow down as it comes to a stop. So as I press play now, as you can see the text, as the text comes in, it slows down. It feels a bit more natural. I'm going to set another keyframe. I want the text to move up and disappear. So I'm going to set another keyframe. Go, go along 10 frames. And I'm going to move this up like so. I want the text to start moving up slowly and increase speed over time. So I'm going to grab this handle and move it to the right to create a mirrored L shape or hill shape. Drag this out a bit more so that it's exaggerated. And now we have the text disappearing as it moves up. But as you can see, it starts off slow and gathers pace quickly to disappear. That's because we set the keyframes to Bezier and tweak the Bezier curves. I want the text to come back in from the top. So I'm gonna set two more keyframes. One here, go along 10 frames in my timeline and move the position so that we see the text come back in from the top. I'm going to go back into the keyframe graph editor, select the last keyframe and drag the toggle to the left to create an L shape or a hill shape. I'm going to press play on my keyboard. As you can see, the text slows down as it comes to a halt. And with that being said, we have this easy, clean text reveal inside Premiere Pro. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like the video, and I'll see you again soon. Goodbye.